the Sunday Showcase on ESPN on EA Sports as we get set for Andrew Bogut and the Golden State Warriors taking on Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. As this one gets underway, Jeff, who might they need to be careful with against Washington tonight? You've got to prepare for the backcourt. Everyone knows about the speed of John Wall. What they often don't concentrate on is the greatness of Bradley Beal. The ability to shoot it deep, to attack the rim, to impact the game on the backboard. I love the potential of Bradley Beal. Well, clearly last year, Jeff, a coming out party for John Wall. You can see the improvement and the confidence in this young man. Well, absolutely. He has improved, and Mike, the biggest improvement is he's helping his team win now. You've got to, you're never going to be able to display all of your talents and skills in the NBA. You've got to learn to share. And I thought Wall last year did a great job of doing what he does best, but sharing with others. And Stephen Curry with the jumper, a three-pointer. He's among the lead leaders in scoring this season. You need guys who can make shots under duress and pressure. That was a well-defended possession, but that man stuck it, even against the best defense. Thompson's looking to do damage in the paint. Golden State's leading Washington by a score of three to two. Wall against Thompson. He shoots. And John Wall with a two-pointer. He's averaging 17 points per game this season. Thompson from downtown can't hit the three. Jeff, as great as their backcourt is, the key really for the Wizards is that front court. Gortat, Nene, these guys have to produce every night. Yeah, and for Nene, it's always about health. Gortat is an outstanding center, but for their front court to truly be special, Otto Porter, the new starter, needs to be consistently good. Porter's opportunity has expanded, and he's got to deliver. Thompson beyond the arc. Three-pointer won't go to the basket. And we have a foul called against Porter. And Harrison Barnes will get to the free throw line to shoot. He's shooting 72% for the season. For the Golden State Warriors, Harrison Barnes. I really liked how Harrison Barnes adapted to going back in the starting lineup. He didn't play as a first option type of offensive player. He played off the other great players on his team and he defended with passion. Wall in possession. Inside, and Bradley Beal with a nice play. Washington, one of the up-and-coming teams in the Eastern Conference, and Bradley Beal, a big part of that. He's going to be a terrific pro. He already is. Well, you think about it, Mike. How many people are talking about the backcourt tandem of Wall and Beal? I don't think nearly enough. I think they made great strides last year. I think Bradley Beal is the prototypical two guard that you need in this league. I, I really like this guy and I like the tandem of Wall and Beal. Good free throw shooting, knocks down a pair. Three minutes gone by in the first. Golden State's down by one. Last couple of years, what's been nice for Washington, John Wall's been healthy. And when he's healthy, he's one of the best, Jeff. He's a one-man fast break, pushing the ball with great pace in the open court. When he gets other guys running with him, they are terrific in transition and then defensively people still don't give him the credit he deserves a very very good defender on the ball good 
work to draw the foul. Harrison Barnes picks up his first personal of the night. And John Wall will go to the line with under two and a half minutes to go here in the first. Knocks down the first one. And he makes them both. Washington's leading Golden State by a score of 10 to 7. Iguodala from three-point territory. No good from downtown. Golden State's not having much success early with the three-point shot. It might be time to start playing a little bigger in the paint. Here's the pick. He's left open. It's good. He's averaging 10 points per game this season. That's how it's done right there. Fundamental techniques on the jump shot knocks it home. Barbosa on the drive. Livingston. And here's the double. Iguodala on the drive. Draws the foul. It's called against Beal. He picks up his first personal. And Andre Iguodala will go to the line for a couple of free throws. That's smart, sound, solid basketball. Putting a bad free throw shooter to the free throw line instead of allowing him an easy attempt. Sessions against Barbosa. Wide open for three. And the defense gives up another easy basket. Jeff, they need a timeout, right? Mike, I don't like to second guess, but I'm surprised they haven't called a timeout right here. I know some coaches like to let their players play through the swings of the game, but right here, a timeout is warranted. Golden State's going to the bench here. Washington's leading Golden State by a score of 15 to 8. Gets past the defense. Nice. Misses on the adjusted shot. Don't worry about the miss. Just keep creating quality shots. Eventually, they will go in. Curry from outside, a three-pointer. And Stephen Curry with the jumper. Puts it in. He's among the league leaders in scoring this season. Now that's perfect right there. You're watching a great shooter, like a great artist, go to work, beautiful form, finish and follow through. Porter takes it to the rim. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup. Thompson fires away from downtown. Hits a three. Four, three. The assist from number 30, Stephen Curry. Careless ball handler. Reaches in for the steal. Stolen by Curry. It'll count if it goes. And the first quarter comes to an end. The score is tied. Stay tuned for more Sunday Night NBA presented by ESPN and EA Sports after this short break. Got a good tie game after the first period. Had a feeling these two teams have battled before, and it seems every game is close. Well, this is what NBA basketball is all about. Both teams competing at a high level. Separation is going to be difficult. It is the simple things, the fundamental things, that are going to make the difference going forward. Curry, and a foul is called. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. Four. First free throw, good. Stephen Curry shooting two. Able to convert on both free throws.
Jeff John Wall always had the talent, but now he's a pro and a leader with Washington. He really is. Listen, it was not easy for John Wall. He came into a horrifically bad team, and he persevered through some tough times. And those tough times have made him stronger as a player and as a leader. right there. The finish at the rim with the nice dunk. Whistle blows. Timeout. The Wizards down by four. At the rim. Gets it to go. You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. Curry against Wall. The screen is set. Curry looking to dupe the defense, draws the double team. Livingston jump shot off the mark. Hey, they may have missed that shot, but that's the type of execution in the first half that sets a great tone going forward. Wall against Curry goes to the goal, able to knock it down. And John Wall with eight points. That's just a nice layup right there. We were talking about John Wall earlier, Jeff, and how he's handled his critics. Now, he deserved some of that criticism earlier in his career, but it also motivated him. If it's just the Twitterazzi of the world out there criticizing you, pay it no mind. You can't have too many voices in your head and play big-time NBA basketball. You got to know who to listen to, and who to tune out. The up and under, very effective. Shot no good. Curry jump shot. Not able to hit from beyond the line. That's a foul, easy call. The Wizards up by two. That's nice body control right there on that layup. Good finish. For three, the wide open shot. Misses from the perimeter. Stolen by Thompson. And Andre Iguodala with a nice look. Sinks it. That's just not getting it done defensively. If you want to win in close games, you've got to eliminate open jump shots. Nene's working hard, trying to back down his opponent to the basket, flips it up, knocks it down. That's a two-pointer. Nene's two for five from the field. Look, you can't give up layups like that. You've got to protect the basket and the paint at all costs. Bogut's looking to operate from down low. Barnes from downtown, and Harrison Barnes with the jumper for three. He's averaging 10 points per game this season. Good job of concentration. Dead aim on the target and knocked it straight through. Fires away for two. Gets it to go. And it's a one-point lead for Washington. You want excitement? You want to see a game go back and forth where the lead changes often in a game. You have that here tonight. This is one fascinating game. Slams it in. Oh, look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. And a full timeout is called. Golden State's leading Washington by a score of 28 to 27. Something in. Beals against Iguodala. To the rim. That's a two. Stephen Curry shooting 57% from the field. When everybody is involved in touching the ball, like what's happening here in the first half, 
in, you've got your assist total up, then you're going to create also a defensive intensity at the other end of the floor. And that's exactly what has happened here in the first half. Nene draws the double team, unable to flip it in. Hey, that's a good look right there. Just couldn't get it in. Wall against Iguodala. Oh, throws it right back at him. Out of bounds. It'll be Wizards ball. Entering the game for the Washington Wizards. Number 22, Otto Porter. Ball comes loose. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Wizards ball. Adjusting on the shot. Nene's unable to knock it down. Golden State's leading Washington by a score of 30 to 29. Iguodala fires for three. Bang! Andre Iguodala's one for two from the perimeter. Nothing prettier than the spot up three point shot. That one was dead center right from the start. Swatted away by Green. Building momentum, creating a bigger lead is critical going on into the next quarter. Curry jump shot. Puts in the three. There's nothing prettier than seeing a big time shooter knock in a three from straight on. Oh, an authoritative dunk. Oh, that's a sweet finish right there. Dunking the ball with strength and force. Thompson drains the three. Gets it off. That's a two-pointer. And Nene with the bucket. For two. The assist from number two, John Wall. Nice adjustment. And time expires here to end the first half. The Warriors up by six. Time now to check in with Jalen Rose. Hey everyone, it's Jalen Rose, and I've got your EA Sports Halftime Report. The Warriors are feeling comfortable at the halfway mark. Clearly, the number of three-pointers these guys scored in the first half was incredible. And if they can keep that up, it's going to be tough to keep that team down. Have a look at the leading scores for the Golden State Warriors. The Wizards would rather be on the opposite end of the scoreboard. They've been strapped, doing their best to be competitive. We'll see if their efforts are more rewarding in the second half. Have a look at the leading scores for the Washington Wizards. Game track. Assists. The Washington Wizards. Struggled to play the angle and allowed too many passing lanes to exist. However, some credit has to go to their opponents for the way they move the ball. They've been taking advantage of the situation. And here we have a look at the first half stats. Player of the half. Steph Curry has done his part with scoring and also some great playmaking. For me, I'm more impressed with the way he got his dime than the way he scored his point. I really like the way he exposed the defense in that opening half. Who was cold? Nene didn't exactly light it up in the first half. News flash, you're not on fire. Pass the ball. And here we've got the stats for you. Go with the top plays from the first half. Number three. Number two. Number one.
All right, back to the second half. I'll see you after the game. Welcome back to the Oracle Arena for the second half. This is Mike Breen, and along with me is Jeff Van Gundy. Golden State's got themselves a lead as we get set to start the third quarter, but this game certainly is up for grabs. It certainly is, and it's going to take energy and efficiency at both ends of the floor. The play broken up nicely by Thompson. Curry for three. And Stephen Curry with a bucket from downtown. He's among the lead leaders in scoring this season. The great three-point shooters find ways to get separation and get three-point shots off, and he is knocking them down at a high rate. Stephen Curry, that's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. Puts it up, and Nene with a nice shot for two. The assist from number two, John Wall. The two defenders swarm. Slams it down. This is an absolute joke. This defense is horrible. You've got to stay between your man and the basket versus getting broken down off the dribble. Weaves his way to the basket. That's good for two. Washington's shooting 58% from the field. Curry coming across. Barbosa unable to convert the three. Golden State's leading Washington by a score of 44 to 37. A ferocious slam. The assist from number two, John Wall. Curry has the double team converge. Thompson fires. Misses that one. Beal the rebound. Wall brings it across. Taken away by Thompson. Ref makes the call. Offensive foul called against Curry. against Barbosa. Nobody near him. Takes the three. And Bradley Beal with the play from way downtown. He's averaging 15 points per game this season. You can tell both of these teams are completely unselfish with the basketball. Look at the assist total, and you can tell that both teams have learned very well that sharing is the true joy in this game. Wall jump shot, knocks it down for two. And looks like we've got a 20-second timeout. A 9-0 run for the Wizards. He's the real deal. He can shoot it deep, he can drive with an array of finishes and floaters, and then he is an outstanding passer, particularly in pick and roll situations. To the rim. Unable to bring it home. Wall into the front court. Adjust on the way to the rim. Horns the rebound. He's averaging five rebounds per game this season. Curry against Wall. Puts it up. The Warriors with the offensive rebound for a second chance opportunity. Hits the three. Golden State shooting 58% from outside the perimeter here tonight. This has turned out to be one of the better games of the season, Mike. They're really getting after each other on both sides of the floor. He's bumped by Curry. To number 30, Stephen Curry. Personnel change going on right now. 
the double. He accelerates, adjusting in the air. Barnes, the rebound. He's averaging five rebounds per game this season. Barbosa bringing it up here. Barnes fires for three. Bang! Hits from downtown. Golden State's showing so much confidence with the three-point shot. It's a big reason for their lead. Wall walks it across into the paint, slams it home. Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim with the nice dunk. Lots of room there. And the rebound grabbed by Beal. He got hit by Iguodala. Marcin Gortat subbed back onto the floor. Golden State's leading Washington by a score of 50 to 46. Throws it down. What a play. Two points. One minute Fires away from downtown. And Leandro Barbosa with the jump shot. Knocks it down for three. Sweet stroke on that shot, Mike. It looked good as soon as it left his hand. Wall against Barbosa. Nice move into the paint. Lays it in for two. That's just a nice layup right there. He steps out of bounds. It'll be Wizards ball. Andrew Bogut's gets back off the bench here for the Warriors. Number 12, Andrew Bogut. And number 23. Goes to the reverse. And John Wall with a two-pointer. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup. Fires from three-point range. Nails the jumper from downtown. Four, three. The assist from number 34, Sean Livingston. Final seconds. Nice way to finish the period. Count the basket. Three quarters complete. The Warriors up by one. Stay with us for more NBA on ESPN Sunday after the break. As we head to the fourth quarter, this one has been nipped and tucked throughout. Offense has been, both of them really, operating on all cylinders. Really beautiful offensive basketball, but it's really going to come down to the other end of the floor. Which team is going to show a commitment to the defensive end first? It's good. You need to get the ball to the basket. Here, great job of getting it to the rim, absorbing the contact, and having a chance to finish it off with a traditional three-point play. Wide open for three. Beals, long-range jumper, won't go. To close out a game in the second half, you've got to execute, create open shots, but most importantly, you've got to knock those shots down. Thompson. The Warriors with the offensive rebound for a new 24. Bogut's trying to get down low. Curry has the double team close in. Green fires with three on the 24. Unable to flip it in. Let's it fly. It's good. A one-point game. The assist from number three, Bradley Beal. Curry. And here's the double. Let's it go. Thompson's shot misses for two. Nice 
Nice move inside. Takes the three. Curry with the touch. Puts it in. All kinds of confidence on that three-pointer. Great looking shot. Good look for two, and a nice finish at the basket. Nene with 12 points and five rebounds. Here's the screen. Curry looking to dupe the defense, draws the double team, fires for three. Thompson's off the mark from downtown. down the jumper. Washington's four for seven from three-point territory. What a great back and forth game we've been watching here today, Mike. It's getting hard to keep count of all the lead changes. Shoots it for two, unable to flip it in. I really like that. That's good defense, good sound defense protecting the basket in a close game. Gets to the rim, nice move, just won't get it to drop. And you gotta finish strong on those shots. You're right at the basket, you gotta put the ball in the hole. To the basket, he's fouled. Chris Humphreys picks up his second of the night. And Harrison Barnes will go to the line with under three minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. And he connects on the first free throw. Goes two for two at the line. Golden State's leading Washington by a score of 63 to 62. Power dribble with the drop step. Strong to the goal. Up and in from John Wall. Look, you can't give up layups like that. You gotta protect the basket and the paint at all costs. Curry against Wall. Gets a good look. Barnes is unable to hit. Some might question that shot right there. I like that shot. You have a great player who's a great shooter. I like the creativity. He just missed it. Four minutes gone by in the fourth. Golden State's down by one. And he turns it over. They couldn't have picked a worse time to cough it up, Mike. Inside to the basket. Misses. Hey, you want to win in this game? you got to protect the paint in the last two minutes of a close game. Shot from way outside, no good. Ball loose again. Wall against Curry. On the drive, strong on the offensive glass. Oh, sinks the two-pointer. Great confidence to shoot that long three from straight on and knock it right in. As we wind down the fourth, there's a timeout. Some coaches think let them run the ball up the court and play spontaneously. Other coaches say call a timeout and organize. I like this timeout because it gives this team the best. Oh, what a shot! it off unable to flip it in tremendous job making it difficult to get to the basket wall against bogan 
and Golden State calls time as we wind down here in the fourth quarter. Hey, you're down the stretch of a close game. You come out of a timeout. You don't need a three right here. Yeah, if the three-point shot opens up, great. But if not, what you want to do is create the quickest score you can. By tie game! You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. Ball knocked loose. To the rim, knocks it down. What a clutch play. This is the type of action we've grown accustomed to in the NBA. This back and forth where the lead change often throughout the game. This is exactly the type of exhilarating basketball that I would pay to see. And a timeout taken here in the final stages of this game. Pass intercepted. What was he thinking on that play? Who was he trying to pass to? And this one is in the books. The final score is 71 to 70. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for watching. Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Warriors emerged victorious after a tight finish. The defense in this matchup was outstanding. When they weren't blocking shots, they were making steals. And it all came together for a terrific win. The Wizards are probably frustrated with themselves after such a narrow loss. This loss is sure to be all the more bitter because of how well they shot from beyond the arc. Their percentage from three-point range was outstanding. Check out the leading scores for the Washington Wizards. Game track. Three-point field goal percentage. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen, whether you're tired or not. Player of the game. Steph Curry really stood out amongst the rest in this game. He couldn't be contained offensively, and he put on quite a show on his way to being the game leader in points. Most of his scoring came from long range, and that's the biggest reason why he led all players in points. The opposing defense just couldn't keep him from getting his shot off. These are the top plays of the game. Number three. Number two. Number one. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining.